Hello, Royal folks. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. But before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your enormous love and support. Thank you, everyone. And in case you guys haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for? Guys, hit that subscribe button now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And please, don't forget to press that bell icon as well. Hit that bell icon so you know when I post more videos. So Meghan Markle's discovery of a personal diary from her time in the royal family recently should send warning signals to the royal family as per royal expert. Now, the Duchess of Sussex sat down with the cut recently and shared how she found her old belongings at Frogmore Cottage. That's including a personal diary when she visited the UK for the Queen's Jubilee. Talking to the Sun about Meghan's discovery, royal expert Margaret Holder said the revelation that Meghan rediscovered what she was writing in her journal at Frogmore Cottage must trigger warning signals to the royal family. For Meghan, a book about her time with the royals offers a great opportunity for settling scores, naming those who offended her, and hitting back at a system she didn't understand and was unwilling to actually learn. On the contrary, she should understand that Meghan Markle is not seen as a princess by the majority of Britons. To prove that Techni UK actually comes up with a survey regarding the Duchess of Sussex, who is living in California with Prince Harry after quitting royal duties, opened up in a controversial new interview about being seen as a real-life princess. Asked in the poll for express.co.uk if people are wrong to consider Meghan as a princess, 56% of the respondents said yes, some 39% said no, and 5% did not know. Tory and the Labour voters were united on the issue, with 56% of the Conservative backers and 57% of the supporters of Sir Keir Stammer's party saying Yes. Brexiteers and Remainers were also largely in agreement. 55% and 59% respectively answering yes. Meanwhile, men were more likely than women to say people are wrong, to view Megan as a princess. Some 61% of male respondents said yes, compared to 51% of females. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams argued that Meghan is officially a princess, as she is Harry's wife. However, the royal expert added that he didn't think much of her real-life princess comment during her wide-ranging interview with U.S. magazine The Cut earlier this week. Mr. Fitzwilliams also told Express.co.uk she is a princess. I didn't think much of her comment in the cut. However, she is the wife of the sixth in line to the throne and brother of the future heir, William, though there sadly is a rift between them. And as for her behavior and comments to me, they are weird. Megan spoke about young girls looking up to her in the interview with the American magazine at her Montecito mansion. The Duchess said, It's important to be thoughtful about it because even with the Oprah Winfrey interview, I was conscious of the fact that there are little girls that I meet. And they're like, Oh my God, it's a real life princess. I just look at all of them and think, you have the power within you to create a life greater than any fairy tale you've ever read. And that, I don't mean in terms of you could marry a prince one day. It's part of Megxit. 
They agreed to stop using their HRH styles, but kept their titles. Since ending role duties, the couple have been out on a number of interviews, including their bombshell Oprah re interview. The cut sparked headlines and controversy on both sides of the Atlantic. This is a mess. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Megan should use the tagline of the princess and keep playing this role? Or do you think something different? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I guess we'll just have to wait until then and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling roll updates, make sure to like, subscribe, and press that notification bell. So until next time, guys, hasta la vista.